Hello guys, welcome back to Global Happenings today. We're so excited to have you again. One of APC's chief thin has been shocked by the reactions of Nigerians when he made mention of that word certificate forgery as it has to do with Kanu um, state governor talking about Abba Kabar Yusuf. Now, shockingly, he came out to tell Nigerians that they are dragging Abba Yusuf to court over the issue of certificate forgery. The reactions is uh, quite shocking, but you know, for Nigerians, it's not really shocking because he has been called out over that statement of certificate forgery, especially for those who witnessed what happened in this country some two, three weeks, uh, two, sorry, two, three months ago. We're going to give you full details of what APC is intending to do as it has to do with, you know, appealing the judgment of appeal court in respect to certificate forgery, which they brought up against Abba Yusuf. Let's dive into the name. Bashid Ahmed, who was the former aide to President Buhari and who is an APC member, has announced that the APC is actively pursuing the disqualification of Kanu State Governor Abba Kabar. Ahmed shared this information on his official uh, social media page, revealing that the APC submitted a cross appeal to the Supreme Court challenging the Court of Appeals decision which dismissed allegations of certificate forgery against the governor. According to Ahmed's uh, webpage, the APC in Kanus filed a cross-appeal with two grounds of the Supreme Court. These appeal contest the Court of Appeal ruling that rejected Governor Abake Yusuf disqualification over alleged EC9 certificate forgery. The appeal argued that the lower court made an error in disregarding the utilitarian value of the Form EC9 exhibit, asserting that it disqualifies or it qualifies as a certificate under Section 1A to Subsection 1J of the Constitution. Let me give you full details of what Bashid said. He said, our great party APC in Kano has filed a two-ground cross-appeal at the Supreme Court challenging the judgment of the Court of Appeal, which refused to disqualify Governor Abar K. Yusuf over alleged EC3 certificate forgery. The appeal argued that the lower court a in disregarding the utilitarian value of the form ec9 exhibit and wrongly concluded that it does not qualify as a certificate under section 182 subsection 1j of the constitution the apc seek an order setting aside the decision and have joined form ec9 as a forged certificate along with any further order deemed fit by the Supreme Court included a... Uh, okay, now, I'm going to read to you some of the reactions of Nigerians because immediately he posted this, Nigerians were out to scream. <laughs> and this is really, really interesting. And this is kind of revealing the kind of society that judiciary has been able to successfully create for Nigeria, and that alone is going to put an increase in moral decadence in the country. I don't know how they're going to fix all of this, but I tell you the truth that Nigerians, there are a lot of things Nigerians are not frowning at right now. Even if someone committed, it's as normal as anything. And the faster the judiciary uh, recover back their self and go back to their first love, which, which is justice for the people, the better for us. Someone here says, I am confused here. I thought APC won the case at appeal court or in my, is my ear paining me? This one say, wait, APC is challenging NNPP for certificate forgery? Hmm. This one here say, is certificate forgery a crime? That's the big question they are now asking. Is certificate forgery now a crime? Another person here say, wait, APC is challenging someone for certificate forgery. Oh my God. Are we sure that things are all right in this country? I thought appeal court had declared that 
it is no more a crime. This one say, are you not aware that certificate forging is a pre-election case according to Supreme Court? Are you not aware that the current president of Nigeria is a certificate forger that never attended even the least primary school? You, you, they, ma you, they make me feel like say you don't know what thing they happen for Nigeria. Now another person here says, I can see you don't really have much to say. I think that you guys need to wake up to the reality because already you have set a pace for Nigerians. This one here says, Bashi Ahmed, certificate forgery is no crime in Nigeria. Hmm. A lot of people are writing so many things uh, that, uh, interestingly, it, it, I would love to you know, read it. But it points to one direction that, unfortunately, the highest quali quali uh, quali quality and environmental disgrace and embarrassment official apc is dragging a party to court over forgery tinibu must hear this okay this person is saying that it is a thing of disgrace for apc to drag somebody to court over the case of forgery then he didn't then mention that uh, the president will have to hear this i mean this is uh, quite troubling i must say and uh, troubling in the sense that uh, this go an extra mile to fight against the strength of our morality. Morality seems to have lost everything in Nigeria, you know. And uh, this is traceable to what uh, our our judiciary have done. I can't believe that they're talking about the issue of certificate forgery and Nigerians. Instead of reacting, they are like, man, it's cool. And this is because there is a pace that have been set. And Nigerians seems to casualize everything incriminating. Everything incriminating. We've got to watch what we are doing. You know, I, I was watching a program. Somebody was talking. I think one of these, um, it, it's a maiden a conference for all civil society group and the person made a mention of the fact that we shouldn't be thinking of ourselves and our children we should think of our third generation and because of that fight to preserve the morality of nigeria and i think that's very important because we might try to dance through it now but if it's already been established that morality have no strong grip on people's character automatically the future that nigeria will see will be a, a, a kind that nigerians themselves will whip and possibly cause those who started this whole thing you know because it, 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 there are things you will make you you do and it becomes a status quo and that same thing that you have done that is now the status quo the people will feel that if it is accepted in nigeria being a country that is respected globally it therefore means it can be done in other countries and it is accepted and by the time they step out there the kind of disgrace that they will get will be unbelievable and, and i feel that nigerians should stand up to fight against this kind of thing i mean it's really, really disgraceful for someone to mention something like certificate forgery. And other people are like, "Who? when was that a crime? Who is saying that that is a crime and all of that? It points to one direction, that we've lost it. And we have to regain back the dignity of morality, at least in Nigeria as our country, and also for our future generation. That's what